Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 16th through the 30th, my longer readings for my Pisces. Hello, my Pisces. I hope that you are just doing just the best, just the best. Okay, so this is the longer reading, so I use three decks. I use my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards. They give me the general picture, give us the general picture. I follow with my John Hollingsworth um, Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. They fill in the gaps, and then I end with my Osha Zen Tarot cards for any type of advice that's needed, okay? So I have prayed, meditated, and infused each deck with Reiki energy, and this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? So let's see what we have going on now. Some things to think about. Okay, we had our April, we had in March 19th, we had our Libra supermoon, full supermoon. Then April 19th, we have another Libra full moon, not a supermoon, but a full moon. So between that time, there's been a lot of energy surges, um, a lot of talk about energy portals, a lot of talk about maybe even portals to different dimensions. It's that type of energy. Now, also the Libra moons are, you know, they try to bring a balanced energy and they want things to be balanced. But as that can be, sometimes it's like pushing that square peg into that round hole. And sometimes because of that, that need for the balanced energy, it shows things that are not in balance. So that's one thing going on. The other thing going on is that on the 19th, the Libra full moon, Libra, Venus, love, all these wonderful things, is in full opposition to Uranus. And Uranus, remember, that's the expect the unexpected. Well, this is the time. So three days before, three days after, the 16th through the 22nd-ish, um, this is the time that you can expect change for change's sake. You can do some risky, have some risky behaviors. You know, this is that type of strong influence going on from this, you know, this opposition of each other. Now, what does that all mean? Um, I give this as my example. So say that you're going in to get your hair cut. You've got long hair. You wind up saying, hey, let's get it cut short. You know, it's that type of risky behavior. Um, or you have short hair and you say, buzz cut, shave it all off. You know, so it's kind of like something you may not have done um, except for the influences of this type of energy. Okay, and then on the 20th, 21st, we enter into Taurus season, which is an earth energy. So that in itself will help to ground, you know, ground some of that excess energy off. So, you know, now let's see what we have for our Pisces. We're gonna cut the deck. And one, two, and three. Okay, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and click on the little bell for my many updates. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have for our Pisces. First card, they are all facing down. We have the Seven of Water, and the water is, of course, your energy along with Cancer and Scorpio. And so this is a complex decision, the need to do research. Stop procrastinating. So my Pisces, yeah. You do, you know, you do have a little bit of procrastination. You know, it's kind of that thing. Why do it now if we can do it tomorrow? You know, so that is part of your charm. But in this case, you can't do it tomorrow. You have to do it today. Okay, you got to do it. You got to do it when you got to do it. And also this talks about the complex decision and the need to do research. Well, I don't see necessarily that that is a big problem for you because you do like to investigate things. You do like to know many things about the subject of whatever it is. The one thing, though, is you don't necessarily like to make the decisions. You know, okay, let's see what the next cards say. Here we have the Ace of Air. Now, Air is our Gemini, Libra, and our Aquarius energy, it's our Wi-Fi energy, it's our thought energy. So here we are, we're procrastinating, we're, we're doing research, we're kind of always thinking we need a little more research, and then along comes the Ace of Air, which aces new beginnings. So brilliant new ideas and inspiration, seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. 
So maybe something's about to switch over for you. Something's about to start new for you. And you're kind of saying, maybe not today. <laughs> maybe not today. So this could be somebody's got to start a new job. Um, so then with that new job, it feels a little bit uncomfortable. May, I'm, I, I don't know what this is, Pisces, but maybe somebody's going to start a new diet. You know, maybe they're going to do a total cleanse and they're like, but maybe not today. It's that type of energy for you. Um, you do tend to get into that a little bit more than maybe not today. So I'm going to say, let's, you know, let's get past the uh, full moon part. So maybe on the 23rd, you know, we put that on the refrigerator as our goal to say, yes, this is the day. Okay. Because something new is about to happen for you if you choose to go forward. See, that's the thing about this too, is these are all life choices. And I can only give you, I can only tell you what possibilities are for you. Yeah, but you still have to be the one to make those choices to actually go after it or not go after it. Okay, it's not up to me to do that. I can just say, this is what the energies are like, and these are like the chances of this, of success or not success, but you still have to make those steps. Okay, and that's the thing is that sometimes, even though you might have all the research, even though, because I've known Pisces that said, yes, this is exactly what needs to be done. Okay, then why aren't you doing it? Well, no. <laughs> so, so this energy, this last two weeks in April is going to be where you are being faced with some really great possibilities and you have to make, you have to decide on whether, well, you have to decide on moving forward into them. Okay. Okay. Let's see what this last card says. This one is reversed. And here we have the 10 of fire. Now, a 10 is also the ending of something, so an ending becomes a new beginning. Fire, of course, is our Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius energy. It's very passionate. It's very, you know, burning. It's very much, it's that fire that's inside of you. But it's also, it says, too much work, except help from others. Life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. So now, not only do you have this new beginning, not only do you have this new possibility, um, you know, it's also making you, it's making you sick with worry on whether you should go for it or not. Now, can I tell you whether to go for it or not? No, maybe, maybe, maybe you are exactly where you're supposed to be. And you're, you know, and even though these doors are seem to be swinging, they're like those old, I feel it seeing like the saloon doors, you know, like in the movies, the saloon doors that would swing open up, you know, open, shut, open, shut. And you can walk through them or not walk through them, but it worries you. You're like, but what if, what if, what if, I, what if, what if, you know what? Yeah, what if, what if this, the one thing I can tell you, Pisces, is this is, you know, whether there be reincarnation or not, this is the only life that you are going through or that I am going through. This is the only Debbie that will be going through exactly what I'm going through. So you're going to have to make some decisions on whether or not you want to just walk through those doors. You know, the thing is that don't, you know, that, you know, sometimes that does become very stressful for you, but sometimes you might have a blessing on the other side of those swinging doors that, you know, that fear kept you from getting. Okay, let's go on to the next cards. And I can talk about Pisces like that. I have a brother that's a Pisces. And my husband is a Pisces, so I do know Pisces quite well with that part. Oh, and a card just fell down. Okay, so let's keep going and seeing what we have here. I like that one. I like that card. It, fa it was, you know, face up, so I put it in face up. Okay, let's see. And I do have other Pisces friends, too. So, but again, too. There is nobody, I mean, Pisces, I'm sorry Pi, uh, sorry to a lot of the other signs, but whenever I've had problems, Pisces had my back. So, you know, so that, you know, you, so while, while you may think that, you know, or at least my husband might think that I'm, that I'm yelling at him through his readings or not, you know, I know with, for my Pisces that you had my back and I appreciate you for that. Okay. 
first card now this is the um you know the psychic tarot and oracle cards so the first card that popped up this is the one that fell on the floor was victory and success okay so with this so you've been making yourself ill about making these decisions about going forward do i do this do i not and yes you can go through a lot of these questions and answers but what if what if what if the thing that the cards are telling me and telling you is that you going forward will bring you victory and success it will be fine for you now you know if you're going to go rob a bank no don't do that okay no that won't be fine for you if you if you've really done your research and you know that this is one of the better places go for it go for it okay well let's see what this next card says this is face down ah okay so this is reversed also some readers read reversed as the opposite i say you know my other way i read them is hey pay attention to me this is saying you are being and this is on the ace of air the new beginnings this is saying hey i'm trying to get your attention you know guardian angels spirit guides higher power divine i'm trying to get your attention hey reach out to me i'm telling you which way to go victory and success come on listen to me okay so with that it you know it's really encouraging you to reach out to your divine to do your meditation do whatever it is that you do to connect do that and then really and then what you need to do is you need to silence yourself and you need to listen okay you need to do that spiritual listening because this is the crown chakra here this is that connection with that divine okay let's see what this third card says okay this is again we have movement choices and decision so we've had the complex decision here we've had the brilliant new ideas and inspirations a challenging beginning we have, you know, accept help from others. Life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. So basically, and maybe this is what that decision is. Maybe you are thinking about, you know, maybe you have, you know, maybe you've hurt yourself and this prepared. I can't tell you that. I'm not, you know, you have to listen to people. You have to listen to your doctors and, you know, and then you have to, again, you know pr you know pray on it connect 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 however that is for you but this is saying that you have and it can be very positive for you okay so let us go on and see okay my osha zentero let's see final words of advice final words of advice oh okay no that's like we have like no we have we have about 20 <laughs> cards so that's kind of not i'm sorry normally um normally i would say uh we would go with this but this is just too many cards that fell out of here oh heck what the heck we'll go with what fell because they fell in a in a bunch but we're going to go through it very quickly for you okay so the first card is innocence okay here is this very wise person looking at life and saying what a wonder this life is and that to me is what Pisces is all about I mean Pisces you you can bring things you can see things and bring such an innocence to what you view so it's saying keep that innocence next card is the dream and you are a bit of the dreamer so it's basically saying though while we're keeping that innocence it's also to keep your dreams going and this is one of these things i feel like for some pisces out there that this thing that you have been that's been worrying you that's been making you almost sick it's like if you go forward it's like you you're thinking that you want to go forward but you're kind of thinking if i go forward what if it's not what i wanted it to be what if it's not real what if it is it better to keep the dream or is it better to have the dream become a reality so it's this is this card is saying to you it is better for you to go into the reality okay so let's see here ah a reversed card and this is politics 
So this is where, again, this is something that I think that you go through a lot. I think that you go through looking again at all the negatives and the positives and at the negatives and the positives and then you start to focus more on the negatives as opposed to the positives and then you start to think and you speak and it starts to be more of the negatives than the positives so it you know your advice is don't do that stop doing that okay second card i mean the fourth card again this is reversed and again, this is saying a lot of the stress is of, a lot of this stress is of your own making. I'm sorry about that, my Pisces. It's basically saying um, it's your internal struggle. It's your internal, it's, it's doing what this, you know, this worrying about, you know, going through the positives and the negatives, worrying about is this, you know, what is, what if I have no dreams after this? Okay, so this is saying, this is saying, hey, cool it, cool it. It's gonna be, you know, it's make a decision and move forward on it. Okay, we have a few more cards, so let's go through these quickly. We have isolation. This is, you know, basically um, not moving, being stuck, being frozen. It's warning you against that. Wow, they really want it. But yet, then we have healing. Okay. And then, my gosh, we're going to keep going. Abundance. You have so much coming to you. You have so much wonderful things, but you need to keep moving forward, okay? This is, again, your worry. You go back and forth between the positives and the negatives, the positive and the negative. And then we have, ah, we have consciousness. This is connecting with again that higher power so they're advising you to do that the fool take a leap of faith it's okay you can go forward you can keep walking and then we have this is the last card wow i've never done it this way before for one of these readings we have a breakthrough okay so all of these cards, all of these cards are is your internal struggle back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Do I go forward? Do I stay here? Do I make the changes? Do I give up? You know, what if it's not, doesn't meet my expectations? What if it's not, you know, I'm, I'm all excited and I really want this, but what if it doesn't meet my expectations? The thing is, the last piece of advice was go for it. Just go for it, okay? Whoa, wow, there was a ton of cards, but you know, when they fall out, to me, need to be shared. So my Pisces, I shared, and I hope that you do it. I hope that you take this, whatever it is that's, that's scaring you, that you face it, and you connect, you know, you can, you know, that you face it. And let me tell you, you will not face it alone. You will not be facing it alone. Okay? Okay. So my Pisces, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.